Hello all, Stoic here. I want to record this video of Second Front, showing you some of the features involved in the gameplay. Some of them are common, some of them you might not be aware of. I just want to make sure that you're aware of all the things you can and can't do in the interface. And here's some of the things which you might not be aware of, or might confuse you a bit. First one, vehicle movement. I want to get these guys out of this truck and move forward. But I can't. Where's the how do I do that? The answer of course is the engine's running. So there's an icon here to clear turn the engine off and there's one down here. So turn the engine off. Smoke disappears and now we've got this unload infantry icon here and also here as well. So unload infantry, and then the infantry can move, move forward. I want to get my guys onto the truck. Walk up to truck. How do I get on? The engine's on. So turn the engine off. It should it should pop up? It should pop up on this. There we are. This pop does pop up on here. Turn the engine off. And we can uh, we can see the board icon here, and there the truck can drive off. So engine off to get on or off. Let's turn that engine off. <laughs> it's a bit noisy. Okay, uh, little point about mortars. There's two sort of two two sizes, sixty mil and 81 mil and the point I want to make is that 61 mil can't fire smoke but the 81 mil can so this icon here means I can fire smoke this means there's a 41 percent chance I'm going to run out when I fire a smoke round so if I click this small mortar there's nothing showing up over here if I click the larger mortar I can right click and fire smoke. I got a mortar reload and I effectively deployed smoke so I can do that again. Mortar reload smoke. Well that's that's <laughs> that's getting lucky. Alright here we are. Mortar out of ammo. Mortar out of smoke ammo and that one missed as well. So I've got no smoke there and I can't anymore fire smoke but that's a nice smoke screen to protect my troops capturing guns now this is covered in one of the tutorials but I want to point out that you can capture uh, with, with a crew you know crews may not seem very useful but they can capture and, and a gun this is um, as you can see on the right over there a Oh, so on the left there's an M1 so, so this is a US gun it's decrewed it's white background so let's move my crew into there and over on here it's got on ground so click that and then we've got our gun to fire and, and use and it's gone the US color so this one here is a, it's an enemy gun German gun again it's white so I can use enemy guns on the ground, capture. And look, <laughs> this one can fire smoke as well. This is a larger calibre gun. Smoke. I think it missed. It missed and it's out of smoke. This smaller gun here, it hasn't got smoke shown there. But this one has, although it's crossed out because it's out of smoke. Still on guns. What have we got here? Got a, fifth, uh, sorry, a 37 mil anti-tank gun and its crew. Now, I want to fire at this truck, but I can't because I can't see around the corner. But if I went here, I could. So there is a feature to push the gun. So if I try to push the gun, 
I would uh, it's an 83 percent chance that I'm going to be successful 83 but if there are if I ask these guys to help as well by selecting them as well and do the same thing it's a 97 percent chance so getting a squad to help pushing the gun makes it more likely you're going to successfully push it. it sometimes it bogs down here you get a, uh, a sort of a cross on it with a pick pickaxe saying it's got stuck but there we are I can next turn fire at the enemy unit so don't forget that you can push your guns okay bit of terrain tip here so here we've got hills here we've got marsh if you look up top right uh, up up here <laughs> it shows what the scenery is as marsh this is water but this is what I want to point out Ford can you see it's slightly slightly shallower so if I click these this enemy squad it can go up the hill it can go onto the marsh but it can also go onto a f the Ford so when you are playing a game or when you're des designing a scenario bear in mind you can have these I mean from a distance you may miss it but make sure you check out those f Fords when you're playing half squads so here's a half squad it's got a grey cross it's got two men on its icon and if they wanted to fire at that truck they get 8% chance to hit and this one here same 8% chance for this half squad if I move that half squad into same hex and move an officer we get a new icon pop up this combines combine half squads so if I click that we get one full squad and if they as a full squad try to fire they get a better chance of uh, hitting it so combine half squads is a good idea to be for them to be more effective here's M10 tank destroyer it's seen that there's an enemy unit in here and that might crawl into here and might fire at it so don't forget that many vehicles can fire smoke so if I fire smoke there I'm out of smoke but I've also got a smoke screen there so that if the enemy crawl in there I've got a bit of protection so don't forget vehicles can do that they can also do use this um, fire smoke dispenser uh, which is basically firing local smoke <laughs> and it missed so that if it succeeded would surround this vehicle by smoke so don't forget that it's a tool you can use TNT so this regular squad is armed with TNT here's uh, an enemy Jeep now we can fire at it but let's so how do we use TNT we walk up to it we right click and now we've got this as well as this firing our guns we've got this one here so let's click click through TNT There it is, it's uh, ticking. Now, uh, unusually, TNT is a weapon that we can move after using, so it allows us to withdraw. And this TNT will explode when uh, at the beginning of the escape phase. So let's hopefully we'll see that. So TNT, that's how to use it. A few more tips. Green squad, regular squad, veteran squad. Don't forget they have different ranges. As shown down here, it's a range of six. So what can it see? It could fire at that it could fire at that crew there. What can the regular crew fire at? It could fire at that as well. And the veteran crew can fire at all of them. So don't forget that your type of infantry dictates how far they can fire. Uh, last tip is bazooka 
So in let's t press tab key. Uh, in here we've got a bazooka and we've got a bazooka here as well. So we can fire our guns at that vehicle or we can fire the bazooka. And we've got two ways of firing that. One is out of the door, so the, the guy takes care, looks out the door, he's got a 3% chance to aim. If he quickly fires out the window, so fire LA TW, so light armoured, uh, light anti tank weapon. <laughs> so th my point is that firing it the second way is better, has a higher chance to destroy, but it also has an impact, uh, an effective black back blast. So he fires it quickly out the window, and uh, people in this building may be affected by that. So let's try that and see what happens. Yep. Yeah. So this this squad become pinned. So it didn't hit, but the back blast has impacted that squad. 95%. Uh, well, I'm not not sure. Not sure what uh, the odds are of that happening, but it certainly can and did then. But this one here, he doesn't have the fire out the out the door. He just has uh, one chance. One, and they've missed as well. That's my tips and ideas in this video. <laughs> Let's uh, click advance to go to the fire phase. Don't think they'll fire and then it'll go to escape phase and we'll see that explode. There it goes. And it missed. <laughs> I don't know how it did that but that's how to use TNT. Okay I hope that was useful. Some tips to help you on the battlefield of second front. Thanks. Bye-bye.